Uh, for Rivals.com, I'm John Garcia, Jr., National Recruiting Analyst. And today, we're going to try to rank the contenders for Alvin Henderson, one of the top 10 running backs in the class of 2025 out of Elba, Alabama, one of the, the most productive players in this rising senior class, more than 3,000 yards and 60 touchdowns in 2023. It does not sound fathomable. But that's what Alvin Henderson put on tape and on paper, leading to, what, 60, 70-plus scholarship offers to his name. Well, he made news going into the weekend as he's cut that list of 60 or 70-plus down to just five. And there are some expected schools and maybe a surprise or two on this list. So we'll get into it here now. In-state, Auburn Tigers on the list. Florida State, right down the road, south from Elba, Alabama. They're on the list. Penn State, Oregon. Maybe the two interesting far away programs on that list uh, for Alvin Henderson at this time as as he drops uh, this top five. And then Miami, the fifth school in there, kind of in between, nine hours from home, but not necessarily across the country like we're talking with Penn State and Oregon. So Alvin Henderson down to Miami, Florida State, Auburn, Penn State, and Oregon. We're going to try to rank those for you, at least at this stage of the game, uh, for Ro- Alvin Henderson uh, here at Rivals. So for me, I think I've kind of let it out the bag already. I think the two schools that you got to get on flights, maybe multiple flights for, I think they're out. I think this is a, a down south sort of country kid who wants to keep things closer to home, if at all possible. And when you rush for 60 plus touchdowns and you have 70 plus scholarship offers, it is possible for you to stay closer to home. So no disrespect to Oregon and Penn State, but I think those two will be number four and five on the list, respectively. I do think Penn State and Jawan Sider have been heavy on this trail, much like Carlos Lachlan at Oregon, the respective running backs coaches. I do think the distance is, is going to be tough for those schools to overcome. So that leaves a top three in some way, shape, or form of Miami, Florida State, and Auburn. Let's go inverted of the order we just said uh let's talk about auburn first look the tigers close to home 90 minutes or so from elba alabama we know under hugh freeze and company the offensive recruiting output has ratcheted up for the tigers and you expect running back to be a key part in that in that machine even though there has been turnover there cadillac williams no longer the running back coach it is now Derek nix and there's no doubt that when Cadillac Williams was there, Auburn was the maybe runaway number one, number one school, excuse me, for Henderson. So I do think that opens the door a little bit for the number two school, which for me is Florida State. I think the Seminoles have been steady in this race. We talk about FSU recruiting the state of Florida well. Well, they also have to go north of the panhandle, which means South Georgia and South Alabama. And we know they've brought in countless elite recruits from both of those regions. And Henderson is one that Mike Norvell and company have locked into for quite a long time. And and naturally, FSU is right in the thick of it. And again, if we talk location, just a little bit further from Elba than Auburn is. So it's not necessarily a huge difference in state, out of state with these two options, which is why I think Auburn and FSU really in any way, shape or form are one and two on this list. And that brings us to Miami. I think the Hurricanes are a true wild card in this race. Uh, it is not very close to home. Again, a nine hour drive or so from Elba to Coral Gables. However, we know Miami has been playing spoiler to a lot of programs out of state for elite recruits. So I do expect this thing to come down to the Tigers and the Seminoles. But if there's a dark horse out there, I'd keep an eye on the Miami Hurricanes. And Alvin has already confirmed Mario Cristobal's program will get an official visit before all is said and done.